exchange kids. Um, it's Miss Esther here, and I just wanted to say good morning. I miss seeing you, and I bet so many of you have grown a couple of inches while I haven't seen you at church. Um, I miss seeing your smiles, I miss your hugs, and I am so looking forward to seeing you at church once again. Um, this morning, I have a couple of friends here with me that I want to introduce you to. I have Buddy. Buddy is one of my favorite stuffed animals. I have Mr. Penguin. He's clearly a giant fan. Go Giants. Uh, we have Mr. Piggy and we have Miss Toast. But guys, I have a problem. And I'm getting really sad thinking about it because I brought I brought my bunny and I can't find bunny anywhere. Bunny is about like yay big, pink, with like floppy ears. I really have to have bunny. Oh no. Okay, we need to go find bunny. Let's go look for bunny together. Come on. Bunny, where are you? Bunny, are you bunny? Where are you? Uh, Pastor Mark. Bunny. Bunny, Bunny, where are you? Oh no. Bunny? Bunny? Are you in here? Bunny, where are you? Bunny, is that you? Bunny, Bunny, where are you? No, bunny. Bunny, bunny. Bunny, bunny. Oh, nice. Bunny, bunny. Bunny, are you in there? Ew. Bunny. No. Bunny? 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 <gasps> bunny! Wait. Why are you with Babushka? Come here. I found Bunny! And Babushka. Guys, thank you so much for helping me find Bunny. I feel so much better. Isn't she just so snuggly and so cute and comfy? Well, you might be wondering why I brought Toast and Mr. Pig, my penguin, Buddy, and Bunny with me. And it's because, well, I have a secret to tell you. And you have to promise not to tell anyone, and you can't even tell your parents, especially your parents. Well, I brought my animals because right now I'm feeling very, very nervous filming this. And like my legs are shaking, my hands are shaking. And on top of that, I miss going to school. I miss seeing my friends. I miss going to church and seeing all of you. And there are times when I just feel sad and lonely and you know, I just need something to comfort me. Well, have you ever felt that way? Have you ever felt sad or anxious or maybe a little bit lonely? Well, my stuffed animals are here because they comfort me. Do you have a favorite stuffed animal? Well, here's my favorite stuffed animal. Well, here's the thing. I also know that God, that God, he's like a stuffed animal for us. He, he comforts us when we need comforting and we get to snuggle with our bunny and feel so much better. And that's exactly how God is. God and spending time with God comforts us and makes us feel so much better. If I have to tell you a time when I really need comforting, it would be a time when Eleanor got really sick. She had an allergic reaction to cashews and we had to go to the ER, see doctors, and spend hours at the hospital. And I remember I was just holding her and I was praying for her and I just felt so sad and scared. But as I prayed for Eleanor, I knew that God was with me. I knew that God was protecting Eleanor. I knew that God was healing Eleanor. And suddenly I felt the presence of God comfort me. Can you think of a time when you felt God comforting you? Well, did you also know that even heroes of the Bible needed a lot of comforting? One hero I can think of is King David. The King David who killed Goliath with a rock and a slingshot, he needed comforting too. Here's what he wrote in Psalm 23 verse 4. King David said, Even though I walk through the deepest valley, I will not be afraid, because you, God, are close to me. 
your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. What King David is saying is this, even though life is hard and even though things are scary, I don't need to be afraid because God, you are close to me. Just like I take care of my sheep and I protect them with a staff and a rod, God, you do the same for me. Another verse that I really find comfort in is in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 and 4. Apostle Paul, he writes, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion, and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all of our troubles, so that we can comfort those who are in trouble with the same comfort we ourselves receive from God. The Bible says that God, that God is the God of all comfort, and He comforts us in all of our troubles. Not just some troubles, not just a little bit of troubles, but in all of our troubles. The best part is this, He comforts us so that we can share that same comfort with other people. As you are comforted by God, you get to offer that same comfort to your friends or your family. Maybe you have a classmate or a friend or a family member who needs comforting. Just keep in mind that as God comforts you, that you have that same ability to comfort those around you. And so friends, I wanna encourage you that as we face moments of fear, loneliness, sadness, sometimes happiness and joy, that, that all we have to do is think of God. And when you do feel sad, when you feel anxious, when you feel nervous or scared this week, just remember, God, God is like a stuffed animal and just hug your stuffed animal a little bit tighter knowing that God is like a stuffed animal and that he comforts you because he loves you and he cares for you. I can't wait to see you in person and I can't wait to give you a big hug. But until then, give your stuffed animal a nice big hug for me and I hope you feel God's comfort coming to you like a stuffed animal. Bye.